You want to start with picking up any large items, toys, or anything that's left on the floor. You go through a second time with a closer eye, picking up smaller items that you just don't want your vacuum to suck up. Before you start actually vacuuming, you want to start with an empty canister or change out your vacuum bag. This will help with the suction of your vacuum. Before I start actually vacuuming, I want to start with dusting off or cleaning off the baseboard. And that's if you have a baseboard in the room that you're gonna work on. Now, if this is something that you do regularly, you can just use a dry cloth Microfiber would be the best option, but this is just an old uh, washcloth that I had. And I just go ahead and dust off my baseboards. Now, if this is something that you don't routinely do, uh, you'll notice that there's like a, a sticky film that will be on the baseboard. That's no problem. Go ahead and just grab your all-purpose uh, sprayer and spray it down and then use a wet cloth to wipe down. Your baseboards. Now before you actually start doing the vacuum job, you want to start by vacuuming your corners or the edges of the room and all the larger furniture. Now you can use your vacuum attachment like you see I'm doing here and you want to take particular care to the corners, any corners, because a lot of times trash and crumbs will kind of gather into that area, loose hair, and you want to make sure to uh, vacuum those up. What I like to do is I like to just use a broom and broom out any of the edges of the room. Now, the reason why I choose to do the vacuum instead of the attachments is because when there's baseboards, I'll use my broom to go ahead and do the dusting for me. Now, you don't have to worry about the dust and the garbage kind of flying out in the air. If it got, if in, indeed it's doing that, it's going to settle back to where the, the carpet, the main carpet is, and your vacuum will go ahead and take care of it from there. And I'm escorting my little helper out the door so I can start vacuuming. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to plug the vacuum from the far end of where you're going to start so that you don't vacuum yourself into a corner. I think the important thing of why I wanted to do this video, it's a 101 type thing. It's a basic thing that most people do know, but I think a lot of people... Uh, grew up and didn't do chores or maybe didn't pay particular attention to the details when they were being taught of how to vacuum. Um, and I thought, wow, I can go ahead and do a quick and easy video showing folks how to do this properly. Now, when you're vacuuming a room, you want to work section in sections. This helps ensure that you are indeed vacuuming the entire room sometimes you'll go in there and aimlessly just start moving the vacuum but you're actually skipping a bunch of spaces and what i like to do is even while i'm working in sections i will vacuum in one direction and the second time i run my vacuum i will vacuum in the opposite direction as you see i've done here this helps with that with carpets that are that fluffy type like my kids carpet are very fluffy and a lot of times the different particles will get really deeply ingrained into the carpet but going in and vacuuming in two different directions and doing it two different times i have a better chance of getting all of that gunk out of the carpet now the method i use with vacuuming is called the W method. I don't know who named it that, but it looks nice and pretty. You'll see the indentations in the carpet. 
And basically, it's you're moving the car, your vacuum forward. And when you pull your vacuum back, you're pulling it back in an angle. And that's what causes the indentations in your carpet to have the W. This gets all of the gunk and all of the trash and all the toenails and all of the dust and all of the crumbs out of your carpet. Not only that, it looks pretty nice on your carpet when you're walking in. It's quite pretty. So you can see that I've done each section. I divided this room. It's a pretty small room, but I've divided it into three sections. Um, this way I can keep an eye on like what has been vacuumed and what parts are been, am I missing? I find it so therapeutic to vacuum. I cannot tell you enough. Now my little helper is coming back in. At this point, he's my supervisor, so he's looking in to make sure that I'm getting all of the corners. Now this step you could totally skip, but it's a step that I use every so often. It's a carpet odor eliminator. Now if you feel like the room um, has any type of odor, or if you feel like the carpet just needs to be refreshed, um, I picked this box up at Target. I think it was like $4.99 and the box have lasted pretty long because it's not something I do frequently. Um, and what I do is I just pour some over the carpet, throughout the carpet, and I let it sit there for at least 30 minutes. So that's, and after I let it sit in 30 minutes, I just go back over and start from step one. I go ahead and vacuum up the odor eliminator. And why I do this separately is because first I want to get all of the trash and all of the crumbs off the carpet first. And then I do it separately. Typically, some people will do the odor eliminating right off top. Like, they just pour it on there. That's not what I like to do. It's because I want to ensure that all the trash is up first. The odor eliminating um, powder is just going to absorb any moisture in the carpet. Um, and that's two different jobs for me. So that's why I split them up. But I will still go back through and do each section twice. To ensure that all that powder is being vacuumed back up. I hope some of these hints and tricks are helpful for you. And kind of gives you an idea of what to do when you are vacuuming your home. And I just hope it's encouraging for you to start cleaning right now. As you can see, having a child at home, a toddler, you are doing, you're doing your cleaning jobs a lot more consistently. I hope you all are well. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that bell so you are notified every single time I upload a new video. You can expect vlogs, makeup tutorials, cleaning videos, and a whole bunch of encouragement. You all take care. God bless. Bye.